Welcome to the first episode of Science Ashram. I am your Vivek. Today, I have my friend here. He is Shaurya. Hello guys. Me and Shaurya are going to build an amazing, a simple project. And that is... A simple DC motor. A simple DC motor. Let's build, build it. it. So what are the materials we require, Vivek? All materials are really simple. I'll show it to you. A 1.5 volt battery, a small piece of sandpaper, three magnets, two safety pins, a 30 centimeter long copper wire, and a wide rubber band. Where did you get that from, Vivek? This rubber band? Yeah. We got it from a cycle tube. Wow, that's cool. And guess what? All these materials you guys can get at the nearest hardware shop. So we have all the materials right now. Yes, we have all the materials. So what are we waiting for? Yes, actually we can start building. You know what? I'll help you in building this time. That's cool. So let us use this plank to build. Move this aside. Alright. So now what you have to do is take the copper wire. Okay. and the small sandpaper okay. try to remove the coating over the copper wire right now just remove it yes like exactly yeah perfect yeah another side yes awesome you, you see this shining part yeah so that's what we need yeah make sure all that coating is removed mm. yes yeah so guys, you need to do this for about 2 inches on either side. Good job, Shaurya. Yeah, that's about it. Yeah. So, Shaurya, you see here? This is what we need. You see the difference here? Yeah. It's shiny now? Yeah. yeah, perfect. This is perfect, right? Okay, Shaurya, it was wonderful. You know, the next step is, you need to take the battery and the copper wire mm -hmm. and wind the copper wire around the battery for about four times yes perfect another one yes yeah. so now take the battery out okay. yeah so give the coil to me so this is in a form of coil right yeah so what you have to do is take one end of the copper wire put it inside the coil and pull this out you see it yeah yeah so perfect so you need to do this on the other side also right put it inside the loop and pull it out so make sure this copper wire will be exactly horizontal all right you see this yeah wonderful so now pull it so that it's really straight yes it's done simple right yeah okay now take the battery okay and the rubber band cover the battery with the rubber band horizontally mm, like this yes exactly yes okay so the next step is Shaurya you need to take the safety pin and fasten it inside the rubber band uh, like this um, okay, I'll show it to you. It is a little difficult and a little tricky. Okay, so you have the safety pin. Put it inside. The head of the safety pin should touch the terminal like this. Okay. Got it? Now the other side. Mm -hmm. You see this? Yeah. Okay, done. So now we have only two more steps. Okay. okay. So take the magnets and stack it onto the battery. Uh, like this? Exactly. Now, take the coil. Yeah. See to it that one end of the coil goes inside the loop of the safety pin. Yeah, exactly. The other side also. Yes. Look at that. It starts spinning. Whoa, Vivek, it's spinning. How is it spinning? I'll explain it to you. Give it. See, the charges are flowing along the safety pin through the coil to the other side of the terminal. So any current carrying coil has its own magnetic field. We have stacked up three magnets and that also has the magnetic field. So these two magnetic fields interact with each other 
and then the coil starts repelling and that is why it's spinning wasn't it cool shorya yeah it was pretty cool you guys can also build this right at your home like the way we did here yes thanks for watching this video please subscribe to science ashram hit the thumbs up button if you like this video and for more information please click the link below in the description thanks for watching guys bye bye bye